And this is Ken Kreitzer at Iowa College. I have a great honor of talking with the honoree tonight, Richie Guerin. His number 14 will be retired tonight. And uh, Richie Guerin, one of the great aspects of your career is that you served in the United States Marine Corps. If you could, tell us a little bit about what you valued of your time serving in the Marines. Well, the, the Marine Corps taught me how to lead, how to follow orders, how to be compassionate about your fellow officers and enlist the men, and what you stood for. And uh, I, I was, you could use the word fortunate or unfortunate to serve in peacetime, but like fellas like Jerry Coleman, who we talked about, served in the wartime, and we were very, very proud of him. But I guess what I was able to accomplish in the Marine Corps when they honored me and elected me to the Sports Hall of Fame made me extremely proud. And tell us a little bit about it. I understand you joined the Marine Corps at a very young age. Yes, I was in the Marine Corps Reserve when I was 15. My dad signed a piece of paper saying I was 17. I didn't go away on active duty. I went to one meeting a, a week, and then I went away two weeks each summer. And then uh, I, I was served for two years. Then when I got out of college, I was part of the PLC program, went into basic school as a second lieutenant, served for two years. What would you say you learned from your time in the Marines that helped you be a professional basketball player and a very successful businessman? Well, I, I think nothing comes easy in life. You know, certainly the Marine Corps stands for excellence and the way you go about doing your business. And sports is no different if you use roles and, and discipline and, and follow directions and be a team player. That's all that the service does. But they use different words when they, when they put that all into perspective. But it taught me to, to be to sacrifice. It taught me leadership traits. It taught me what the meaning of, of giving a hundred percent is, and that's the way I tried to lead my life since that time. Absolutely, a good friend of mine. Uh, I went undergrad to Providence College. knew Dave Gavitt very well. Dave Gavitt had so much to do with the Basketball Hall of Fame up in Springfield, Massachusetts. What was it like uh, the day you were inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame this past fall? Well, you, you know, uh, I, was, I was so happy that it finally happened because over the course of my lifetime, I was nominated a number of times for it, and for whatever reason, it never happened. And when it, when it, ever, when it happened, it's almost like a sign of relief, but I was so happy it happened when I was still on Earth because I'm getting on in age, and to be able to share it with my family uh, meant so much to me. And... And then to be included in this very special club, uh, it's a very, very honored and very proud. And Richie Garrett, just final quick thought, when you see the Marines today serving, uh, what are your thoughts about uh, the young men and women in the Marine Corps today? Well, uh, my thoughts about the people in the Marine Corps are thoughts about the people in the Army or Navy or Coast Guard or Air Force. These young men are giving their lives to defend this country, making a lot of personal sacrifices themselves and their family. And every time we see a soldier or a warrior, we should say thank you to them. Absolutely, Richie Guerin. Can, just really thank you on, for your service to our country, from all of us at the American Legion. And uh, I'm sure everyone in the Marine Corps and the U.S. military is very proud of you tonight. Thank you so much. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at Iona College in Urshel, New York.